to our kiln opening. Uh, long time since we've done one of these. Uh, we are using the action cam, so the sound might be a bit weird, but we'll get to it. So we'll get the camera in place. Little tea light. It was just a old bit of clear, just to test our green. Green's working very well. So let's just say, mess the tea light in. And on our green thing, we have a little trinket box. Hexagon. It was more a test of the, the principles than anything. Again, our green has come out quite nice. It does open up. So we'll uh, Yeah, it's come out lovely. So that's that one. What else do we have? We got some cups. So this is um, this is a board glaze. This is salsa, salsa blue, I think. It's come out pretty good. So that's a uh, dip once quite a long dip and then an extra dip on the rims the insides is great really nice I'll tell you what we will do before we get any further we'll do our cones never did our cones did we so we got five six and seven so it's a bit hot have to adjust the the fire and I think maybe it's do so that was a cone six firing. So we might have to do a cone five firing, but with like a ten minute hold. See if we can get it a bit more of a cone six. That's our that's our cone box anyway. See, so we've got. sort of uh, espresso cup type theme was going on with them. Pretty good, we'll get a nice close up. And we've got the big one out of the bunch. Just slightly bigger than the rest. Keeping on that theme, we've got these fellas. Which is some more espresso cups. These are in our floating blue, so it's a nice, it's quite a really nice, no pinholes, anything like that. And these have got a really chunky handle, so it is a, an espresso, and they all. Balance quite well. That was a good one. So a good, a good finish on the glaze on them. Nice set of six espressos. Two pinholes on that one. But nice anyway. Right, so that's our espresso cups. All come out pretty good so far. Nearly smashed them. Nearly smashed them. Clumsy, Mr. Clumsy. Uh, what else we got? Oh yes, we've got another trinket box. This is a square box. This is from John Britt's book of glazers. I've, I've never been happy with it actually until now. And I'm just getting it right, I think. A few pinholes, but... I'd say it might be just because it's a bit hot, the firing. 
It's a lovely blue, deep blue colour. Just a little odd, odds and ends box. Keep your trinkets in. They've all got different engravings on the sides. Quite good. Better TARDIS. Uh, what else we've got? We have our agateware. This is blue and white. Again, come out pretty good then. Pretty good. These are just clear glazed. So they're all pretty decent. What I have found with the agateware, because you colour the glaze, uh, colour the clear, it becomes quite dusty, and you do get sort of not pinholes as such, but like orange peel, and I think that's just the nature of the the colourant in this specific clear, probably. But a nice, nice and light, pretty good. So they, they come out nice. And then we've got some more mugs. Now this is a new glaze, which I'm testing for our sink project. And this is, so that's clear inside. And this is Myco Copper Ore, and it's a lovely glaze. Very nice. It has suffered from a bit of pinholing here. And again, I think that's just because it's firing quite hot, so these will be refired at a, on our next go. So we've got three of these, and you can see the crystals in there, it's really nice. And these have got our Extruded square handles with a twist in them. Good finish on them. Very pleased with them. Good clears. I see apart from the pin oil, which hopefully a refire will get rid of that and not lose any of the crystals, which is always the problem when you refire stuff. It can sort of like deaden it a bit. More cups. We'll do these ones first. And these were on a previous video. These are our alphabet cups. So they're all impressed with random alphabet characters. That is manganese dioxide oxide, and it's just dabbed on, and then uh, we waxed over the top and then we dipped it in a white or white glaze and it's come out pretty good it's different the letters aren't as defined as I wanted them but they're pretty good Cups. it says just various different designs on it We're just testing the stuff really. But the colour's nice uh, in that uh, manganese. It's very good. Like that. Right, that's uh, them done. Next. So we had a set of six mugs and we did three like that. And three like that. So these three are clear glaze inside with a lavender mist outside. They've come out really nice as well. Good, good finish on the lavender. Nice. Just breaking around the edges. Very nice. See they're all. And this is a micro glaze as well. Micro lavender mist. It's 
to get the thickness right, which is probably the case for most glazes, got to get the thickness right. And I think we've got it right. Maybe the light firing would give it a bit more of that purple. But they're pretty good. So we'll, we'll smooth this round. Do the other ones. So these are a white liner glaze. That's our white, which has come out nice again. Now this is our... Now what is this again? This is... Soft pink, I think. June Perry Soft Pink, I believe. It's come out quite nice. So you get the blush when I'll get my... So what I did, stood this in the middle, the chrome green in the middle, and that blushes the side of the mug. So you get one side slightly pinker than the other. Pretty good, pretty good finish on them. Very pleased with them. What's the one at the back like? Handles are nice, nice weight. Chuffed with them, very good finish. Yeah, so you can see the blush more on that one. It just blushes here. And then it goes to a very subtle pink. So that's them. Get them fellas out of here. So what we're going to do first, we'll do the big piece first. So you have to make... two pickle jars and I really pleased with the pickle jars they come out great so we'll run through them one at a time um, we'll do the fondue because made a bit of a pig's ear of the clay glaze so it's got a bit white but it's basically supposed to be seaside so you've got sand white clouds and you've got a little kite fluttering in the wind and then you've got another one on that side so the glazes can be very temperamental when you do under glaze colours I've found but anyway that's that bit the big main piece is the cheese dome which I think come out brilliant the only problem, which is a practical one, the handle is too smooth, it's quite slippy for such a big item. And it's, so you have to be careful when you lift it up, but it's decent, it's not too heavy. And that is uh, beach huts on the seaside, and it's the handle is as you can see where you've dropped your ice cream like so and that on the inside is just now the way I did it it's got a clear line of glaze but that bit was waxed here just this and it was balanced on a, a kiln stilt so it was balanced like that so I could fire and get glaze on the edge which I thought made it a bit better so as that the cheese done and I'm quite pleased where the plate come out actually that come out very nice indeed so it's supposed to be a rock pool a couple of starfish in it It'll come out pretty good and what we've got down here, a 
think we have, what's that, is that a crack down there? Just here. Seems to have cracked a bit. What? Very usable. Now, next is our pickle jars. And as you can see, they're supposed to be sand castles. So it's got a little, little door. And a little window impressed into the sand on them both. And it's like a sand castle, so it's got a turret. Ramparts cut in the top lid. And the lid. And the inside. So it's clear glazed inside up to there. Under glaze and clear glaze on the top. And they've come out really nice. So that's bare clear. That's very clear. And the lids fit really well. And again, this one's got a bit more of a lip on it. But they all come out extremely well after, extremely well. And that, I believe, is it for this throwing. So, thanks for watching this latest kiln opening, quite a good result there on this one and hopefully there will be another one very soon and we'll eventually finish our sink project so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in a video soon.